Thank you, Senator Zeldin. And welcome, Governor Cuomo, to Freeport. Here on Long Island, fishing isn't just a business or a hobby. For many of us, it's really a way of life. Our local economy depends on the tourism and businesses that Long Island's fishing industry brings in. Fishermen from across the state were relieved when the budget got rid of the recreational fishing license fee. Now, with the added refunds for individuals and charter boats, we're going to see money being put back into our pockets. In addition, the no fee registry will attract fishermen from across the state and the country to Long Island. Governor Cuomo is literally putting money back in our pockets. The people you see all behind me will be getting refunds, captains. It is now my honor to introduce a fellow fisherman and our governor, Andrew Cuomo. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. What a pleasure. What a beautiful day. What good news. It doesn't get any better than this. It really doesn't. Uh, first to Tony Delernia, who has been a great champion for the fishing community for many, many years. He's been a great asset to the state. Let's give him a round of applause, Tony Delernia. <laughs> to Commissioner Joe Martens, who's doing a great job, he did not get the memo on appropriate dress. That is true. <laughs> he is wearing a kind of green suit, so that somewhat fits the uh, theme of DEC. I'm going to get you one of these shirts when we get back to Albany, Joe. But he's doing a great job. Give him a round of applause, Joe Martens. <laughs> to uh, Assemblyman Fred Thiel and Senator Lee Zeldin. We had uh, the good fortune these past few months to work together in Albany, uh, not just as colleagues, but really as friends. And I think the relationships that we've developed actually helped our, us do our job better. Uh, there's been a mutual respect. There's been a sense of integrity. There's been a sense of decorum. We understand that we don't always agree on everything. But at the end of the day, we're there to do the people's business, and we're going to get the people's business done like professionals and in a way that make the people of this state proud. And we did that this year. Uh, and I'm one person as the governor, as you know, and I'm a relatively new governor. I can't tell you how effective these assemblymen and senators were this year, uh, how kind they were to me. They were the essence of professionalism. Uh, to a one, they are, I'm proud to call them a colleague, uh, and let's give them a round of applause for the great work that they've done. <laughs> Special round of applause to Fred and Lee, who really took the leadership on this issue when they were dogged about it. Thank you. <laughs> Senator Assemblyman, thank you very much. We did have a very good year in Albany. Uh, we got a lot of good work done. And it wasn't that it was an easy year. We had real challenges when we started in January. State was facing a $10 billion deficit. It's one of the largest deficits in history. We said we were going to close the deficit, that we were going to balance the budget. We said we were going to do it without raising taxes. And we said we were going to get it done on time which was when we, when we said this in January, it sounded like a Herculean feat. Sometimes I was a little nervous myself, to tell you the truth. We actually did it. We got the budget balanced, we, we closed the gap, we did it without raising taxes, and it sent a s different signal all across the state. Uh, and my colleagues in the legislature deserve the credit for that. So we had a great year, and we did a lot of good. And I believe we changed the trajectory of the state. But what we're doing today is really extraordinary in many ways. Just think, uh, when is the last time government stopped collecting a fee or stopped collecting a tax? Just name the last time government said, I'm going to stop charging that fee, I'm going to start char stop charging that tax. It doesn't happen. Then think of the last time 
government turned around and said, I'm going to send you, the taxpayer, a check. I'm going to refund to the taxpayer money from the government bank account. It doesn't happen. It never happens. And it is a powerful, powerful signal, as Senator Lee Zeldin said, this is a different day. And this is a different state government. And we have a different set of beliefs. And we're operating differently. And we want to send that signal. And sometimes the best thing gov for government to say is no. Sometimes the, the, sometimes the best thing for government to do is give a break to the taxpayer. Now we're sending money back. I'll tell you something. Tony Delernia said this. Net, this state is going to make money because of what we're doing. Sometimes reducing taxes, reducing fees actually stimulates the economy and creates more revenue. Why are we in Freeport today? We're not as smart as Fred Thiel. We didn't think Freeport free licenses. I'm going to steal the idea tomorrow, Fred, but today it's your idea, I want you to know. Not just because Freeport said free, but because you get a sense here of how big an economic engine fishing is in this state. Just add up. Just add up all the fishing charters, all the bait stores, all the equipment, all the rentals, all the boat salesmen. There's an entire industry, especially on Long Island, that's very vibrant. When you charge the tax a fee for a person just to get a fishing license, you actually retard that industry. You slow the growth in that industry. And that winds up costing you more money than the $10 you were charging for the license in the first place. And government has to understand that. And this, this makes that point. So I believe this is going to make the state and make the people of the state money. That's number one. But number two, and sometimes it is simple. Sometimes there still has to be things in life that are free, right? There still have to be things that you can do that are free, that you don't have to pay a fee, you don't have to pay for a license. And one of the great joys is on a Saturday, on a Sunday, on a weekend during the summer, you go down to the beach, you bring your kid. I have my first mate, Michaela, with me today. and you enjoy nature and you go fishing and it's free. You are exactly right and that's what this says. There are still some things in life that are free. Uh, you put the two things together, the economic sense and the tradition that we're talking about with fishing and the ocean, uh, and I can't tell you how proud, of, uh, how proud I am of today's activity. I am so proud that I want to announce I am officially taking the weekend off. <laughs> I am headed out. I'm going to Shinnecock. I'm going to fish all weekend. There is a striper with my name on it out there, and I'm going to get it. Congratulations and thank you.